What's that, Dune Popcorn Tin? You have something to tell me? They're making a Dune 3? Get the heck out of here! The unthinkable has happened. That's right, friends. Denis Villeneuve has agreed to Dune Part 3. That's right, they're going to adapt Dune Messiah. Never did I ever think it would come to this. After Dune Part 1, I wasn't even sure Dune Part 2 was going to get made. But I, I'm ecstatic. This is a kind of amazing news. I'm a little concerned, which I will address. But for the most part, I think I'm pretty excited but let's get into the details let's talk about it before we move on just want to remind you that i am the man you may know as e from the podcast our reviews will kill you and you may enjoy listening to our full-length audio podcast on itunes or catch the live streams here i'll give you more details later but you can also uh like and subscribe it's a big help it's the only way anybody recognizes what we're doing if you like this kind of content. So, well, let's check it out. Denis Villeneuve and Legendary are developing Dune 3. There's a hitch. Basically, Denis was like, I want my next movie guaranteed to get made. And I get to pick what it is, and I don't care what you say. So now he's going to wa he's gonna make Nuclear War a scenario. I've never heard of that. I don't know anything about it. But they're like, he, you know, it's the carrot and the stick. He's like... Yeah, I'll make Dune 3, but I got a hitch. And that's where they, they want to make Annie Jacobson Pulitzer Prize finalist, not even a winner, nuclear war scenario. Okay. It's a nonfiction book. Okay. <laughs> whatever you say, bro. They're basically like, whatever you want. It explores a ticking clock scenario about what would happen in the event of a nuclear war. That doesn't seem like a nonfiction book. That hasn't happened. It's just with exclusive news inter new interviews with military and civilian experts who built the weapons. Yeah, I don't care about any of this. Why are we talking about this? I'm over nuclear war. Uh, but Doom Part 2 is still raking in money at the box office. Already amassed $630 million. I remember the days when that wasn't such a hit. But I guess, hey, look, they'll take the hits where they can get them because it's pretty hard to get. And it's the highest gross grossing film of 2024. Who would have thought, like, a relatively obscure-ish, cult-considered unfilmable movie would become three parts? They've completed the Dune 1 saga, the actual book of Dune, and now they're mo moving on to Dune Messiah. Now, we already kind of knew this because in a different video I covered, we talked about how Hans Zimmer, the composer, had already been given a screenplay for Dune Part 3. And uh, like I said, I just it, it's it, things are about to get a little weird. For those who are unfamiliar with the book, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but I am going to mention that there are characters that never even got mentioned in the Dune saga that you've seen, Part One and Part Two, that are incredibly important in this. So you're going to get like Dune Nav, or you're going to get Guild Navigators, who are humans who've turned into like floating fish type people who breathe in. Um, they breathe in the spice so that they can predict where to fly through the universe in their giant spaceships. You, we haven't seen any of those. Uh, we have face dancers from the Benetelli Laxu, which they can change what they look like at will. And you're going to have Bajaz, who's a, a dwarf, who's very cr a critical role in all of this. I could imagine who could play it, but I suspect he's going to say no thank you to playing any more dwarf roles, even though Tyrion Lannister would be really good for that role. I mean, really good. So we'll see what happens. And this is interesting because there's a couple of different interpretations of how uh, Timothy Chalamet's character, Paul Atreides and the Atreides saga, how it's going to go. And it looks like they already... It's weird because we don't know where they're going to go with this because they clearly already cast his sister, which is played by Anya Taylor-Joy. So we'll see. Again, Peter Jackson. Or not Peter. Peter Dinklage for Bajaz. Just saying, even though he's kind of a jerk. But either way, um, they're officially working on it. They this This came... Variety declared it. Uh, this is from Collider, so it's it's legit. It's coming out. 
Ah, uh, it's gonna be weird because the the way the movie ends, it's not been exactly. It, it differs from the book, so I don't want to predict where. I mean, I know how it should go, but I don't know exactly what it's gonna do. But just think about it. Who would have thought that the Dune franchise would have grossed a billion dollars? 630 plus the first movie, which was, you know, uh, a success at 402, but that was during the Koof times. Very difficult time for people to do things. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited is, isn't the word. I'm very excited because this is the start of where it gets weird. And then who knows where it goes from here. I know they're still kind of working on a uh, Benny Gesserit show for HBO. I'm not 100% sure where that is in production. But this is really pretty exciting because you could theoretically get to God Emperor of Dune. And that is my favorite book and also probably the most exciting. But also very, very weird. Things get super weird the further we get into this. And this is just like the tip of the iceberg for getting weird. If you thought sandworms were weird before, you ain't seen nothing yet. So, I'm super excited. Are you super excited? As a giant Dune fan, I'm pretty darn excited. This is pretty spectacular. And you know, it's in capable hands. Even though I've made my criticisms of the movies... And I, I've said where I didn't necessarily like where things went. And I'm, you know, I, I'm not, it's not perfection. And, and you're never going to get perfection. But I'm a movie critic, so I'm going to be a little bit critical of it. But I still enjoyed it and recommend people watch it. And I highly recommend that everybody reads the books. I love the books. I've read them so many times. I One day I'll show you my collection. And uh, I even used to have a sandworm toy. I don't know where it went, but it was my favorite toy and it's gone. But anyway... Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited? This is some pretty interesting news. I think it's interesting that Denis Villeneuve, he uh, slid in there some conditions. I want to get my movie made before, you know, you better guarantee me this movie. It's an ultra-depressing movie about nuclear war that I don't want to watch. So, and, and Denis did say that he's pretty much done with Doom Messiah. He doesn't want to go any further, but... That, if it makes enough, I mean, it's already made a billion dollars between the two movies. If this next one is pretty successful, you know they're going to milk that cow. Hopefully respectfully and not disrespectfully. But in the meantime, like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. It helps us grow. Thank you kindly for listening to me. Catch our live streams here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check us out on Rumble as well. We are there. And as for myself... I'm going to be filling up my tin so I can get me some more popcorn because I'll see you in the theaters for this one. But I'm on to the next one.